Hello and welcome to the Academic Services presentation on Electronic Thesis and Dissertation Filing Guidelines. This presentation will focus on formatting requirements for your thesis or dissertation. We will discuss the required formatting for preliminary pages and go over common errors. Please note all of the formatting we will discuss is absolutely required and there are no exceptions. Do not rely on previously submitted manuscripts as requirements have changed through the years. No manuscript will be approved by the UCLA Graduate Division unless all of these requirements are met. Your manuscript will always begin with a title page. The official university name appears at the top of the page with University of California capitalized and Los Angeles underneath. Please note all pages must be double spaced and there is no bolding on the preliminary pages. Your title will appear underneath the university name. Everything must be spelled out including formulae, symbols, abbreviations, etc. You may only use special characters allowed by UCLA such as italics. All margins must be one inch on all sides throughout your manuscript. This includes left, right, top, and bottom. Underneath, your title will be this sentence. If you are not a doctoral student, please substitute Doctor of Philosophy with the correct degree objective that appears on your official university record. All information included in your manuscript must match official records. Do not include unofficial specializations in your degree title. For example, if you are a psychology student, do not list your degree as clinical psychology. Your name appears underneath the submission notice, and as with your degree, this must match your record. For any changes, you must speak with the registrar's office prior to submitting your ETD. Notice the by above your name is lowercase. Do not capitalize the B in by. Finally, your title page will include the year you are submitting your manuscript. If submitting in the 2016-17 academic year, but in June of 2017, your year will be 2017, not 2016. And do not put a page number on your title page. Next will be your copyright page. There will be no text, symbols, or any other markings on this page except at the bottom center where the copyright notice will appear exactly as indicated here. Again, your name must match official records and the year must match the year of submission and degree award date. No page numbers will appear on your copyright page. Next is your abstract page. The title at the top, Abstract of the Dissertation, appears in all capital letters. Your manuscript title appears underneath this and must appear exactly as it does on your title page. Again, the by is not capitalized. Your name as it matches university records is next, then your degree, university, and date as shown here. And as with previous pages, they must match official records. Your committee chair and or co-chairs appear underneath this information. Regardless of your chair's title, you will list him or her as professor. After their name, you will include comma chair or comma co-chair with capitalized first letters. After this, your abstract begins. UCLA recommends 350 words for doctoral dissertations and 150 words for master's theses. Page numbers will begin on your abstract page with lowercase Roman numeral 2, not 1 or 3, 2. Page numbers are the only exception to the 1 inch margin rule. Page numbers appear 0.75 inches from the bottom of the page. Your page number will continue from 2 on the abstract throughout your preliminary pages. Arabic numerals begin with 1 on the first page of your body text. After your abstract, you will include your committee page. You will indicate your dissertation or thesis is approved, then list all certifying members. Only certifying members will appear on this page. Please note, if you constituted your committee before fall of 2016 and one or more of your committee members is not certifying, do not include them on this page. For members listed, do not include title or degree designations. Your chair or co-chairs appear last. After their name, include a comma, then committee chair or committee co-chair. Be sure to include the university name and year of submission slightly under your committee list. Again, 
Page numbers continue as lowercase Roman numerals 0.75 inches from the bottom of the page. Now that you know how the preliminary pages must look, let's go over common errors students make. The most common errors we see on the title page include the following. As shown here, the student did not double space the page. Everything must be double spaced. Additionally, the title has been bolded. There can be no bolding on the title page or other preliminary pages. Next, you must state the thesis or dissertation is submitted in partial satisfaction as this is not the only requirement for your degree. Beyond these mistakes, the overall page spacing is incorrect. There should be more space between each section on the title page. As a reminder, the title page must look like this. Now we'll look at a common mistake on the copyright page. Page numbers do not appear on the copyright page, Roman numeral or otherwise. Again, your copyright page must look like this. Here is one example of an incorrect abstract page. As with the title page, there can be no bolding of any text. The abstract of the dissertation title must be in all capital letters. All of the preliminary pages must be double-spaced, including the title and your student information. The B and by must be lowercase and page numbers begin with Roman numeral 2, not 3. Here is another example of an abstract page with commonly seen errors. There should be no bolding. The abstract title must be in all capital letters. The B and by must be lowercase. Margins must all be 1 inch. And page numbers begin with lowercase Roman numeral 2. As a reminder, here is how the abstract page must appear. Finally, our common mistakes on the committee page include the following. The dissertation approval notice must be aligned to the left of the page, and there's too much space between the committee member names and the university names. Also remember to include the year you submit your manuscript. Here's the correct sample now. The preliminary pages in this presentation are where we in academic services see the most errors. There are, however, more sections you must include in the preliminary pages and your manuscript as a whole. For a complete list of manuscript sections and the order of each section, please look at this table. As you are finalizing your ETD submission, please refer to the sample pages previously shown and the ETD formatting guide as a whole. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please let us know how we're doing by taking this quick survey and use the following links for a full formatting guide and the filing deadlines. If you have any questions, please email us at academicservices at grad.ucla.edu or give us a call at 310-825-3819. Again, that number is 310-825-3819.